so I'm doing something different for today's video. For a while now, I wanted to do more tutorial focused content when it came to Halo mods, and I got requested to do a custom sound import tutorial. First things first, we're gonna need these two programs. I'll link both of these in the description of this video, but we're going to need the Asoyuz GUI Launcher and Audacity. Now, Audacity is going to be used to edit and export your sounds as a .wav file, and Asoyuz is used to import that sound into your Halo mod tools. Before we get into that though, we're going to have to set up our Halo Editing Kit files first. You're going to want to navigate to your Editing Kit directory right here. This tutorial is kind of assuming you've already extracted all your files and you have your mod tools set up correctly. So if you don't, I'll try to link another tutorial or I'll end up making one in the future covering the basics of the Halo mod tools. Once you're in your editing kit directory, you want to scroll down and find this archive so that you can extract the fmod files into your main directory. So we're going to open up the archive. Open up the fmod folder until you get to these two files. In your opened Halo Editing Kit folder, you want to also navigate to your fmod folder under PC and extract those two files into your folder if you don't already have them. Just as a side note, you'll only need Audacity if the sound that you're trying to import isn't already a .wav file, exported with the encoding signed 16-bit PCM. So I'll show you how you would export that real quick. You're almost ready to import your sound, now we just need to set up your file path for your imported sounds in the data folder. So now, go back to your editing kit folder and navigate to your data folder and then open up the sound folder. In your data sound folder, you can create a new folder, so for example, I'm going to name this tutorial. And then, for the sake of organization, I'm going to name some subfolders that get a little more specific to the sound I'm importing. Alright, so for this first example, we have three weapon fire sounds, and I'm going to show you how you would import them. Now after you add those three sounds into your data sound folder file path, you want to open up a Soyuz and go to the sound task. Click on browse, and then go to exactly where your three sounds are. After that, you want to find the sound class that best matches what your sound is, so for example, we're going to do Weapon Fire. Next, the import types are going to be crucial. So since we have three sounds that are all permutations of each other, we're going to choose Single Layer. What this will do is it'll make a sound tag that can play one of three sounds that we imported. It's pretty common for most Halo weapons to have this firing sound type. Now, to explain the other choices, single shot is used if you just have one sound in your folder, and multi-layer I've honestly never used so I have no idea what it does. So, we'll do a single shot sound next using the reload sound effect provided to me. You're gonna wanna go back to your data sound folder. Add a new folder for your reload sound effect, and then add your .wav file to it. Open a Soyuz back up, and click browse to go to this new sound.
change the class and import type. And then finally, import it. Let's go take a listen in Sapien. So yeah, I hope you're able to follow through with the tutorial and that it helped you. If you have any questions or you get stuck anywhere, make sure to leave me a comment down below. But that's all for me right now. See ya.